You are about to experience Jackson Snyder Presents. We will examine the life of our master, Yahshua, by discovering his ancestors, family, and friends, by reviewing rare ancient manuscripts, and speaking to those who know him best from the Pharaoh Yahad at yahad.us. Now experience Jackson Snyder Presents. Welcome. This is Jackson with the Vero Essene Yahad in Vero Beach, Florida. We're going to have a little different show today. We're going to have a book review. But the book is very different. It's called Proof of Heaven. It's written by Ibn Alexander. And the subtitle is A Neurosurgeon's Journey into the Afterlife. Obviously, this book is about a doctor's near-death experience. But this one is a little different because it's not a near-death experience. It is a post-death experience. I won't take any more time talking about it here. Let's just get into it. Without further ado, let me introduce Lisa Morissette, who is the administrator of the Vero Yahad websites and of this particular client that we're using right now, the Conference Center. So this book is called Proof of Heaven. Jackson and I both read this book. I read it a couple of months ago. I'm not sure when Jackson read it, but we both agreed that it would be good to give a summary of the book because his experience is quite unique as far as near-death experiences go. Um, so a little bit about the author. I am just going to read the back cover here. So thousands of people have had near-death experiences, but scientists have argued that they are impossible. Dr. Eben Alexander was one of those scientists. A highly trained neurosurgeon, Alexander knew that NDEs feel real, but are simply fantasies produced by brains under extreme stress. Then Dr. Alexander's own brain was attacked by a rare illness. The part of the brain that controls thought and emotion, and in essence makes us human, shut down completely. For seven days he lay in a coma. Then as his doctors considered stopping treatment, Alexander's eyes popped open. He had come back. Alexander's recovery is a medical miracle, but the real miracle of his story lies elsewhere. While his body lay in a coma, Alexander journeyed beyond this world and encountered an angelic being who guided him into the deepest realms of superphysical existence. There he met and spoke with the divine source of the universe itself. Alexander's story is not a fantasy. Before he underwent his journey, he could not reconcile his knowledge of neuroscience with any belief in heaven, God, or the soul. Today, Alexander is a doctor who believes that true health can be achieved only when we realize that God and the soul are real and that death is not the end of personal existence, but only a transition. This story would be remarkable no matter who it happened to, 